Hey welcome back sorry for taking some time. Today after many technical difficulties, we finally managed to get this episode recorded. So after all that enjoy. Two claps this episode. Two claps? Oh you're spoiling us. Mm. <laughs> yeah so, hopefully the sound quality is alright because is this the third attempt now? I don't know, I haven't been counting. Uh, fair enough. To be fair, it's actually a good time to start recording because, uh, well, what was it? I've been antisocial the last few days, haven't I? So, obviously, got some uh, couple of days to catch up on, haven't we? You're pregnant. So, no, Christian, I am I'm not. pregnant. No, Christian, I highly doubt that. So, uh, so what have you been up to then, Christian, the last couple of days? No album, Kim. AJR. Okay, okay, straight. It's signed. Very happy about that. That's on the shelf of... Signed AJR stuff that's going to look nice and never going to be touched. <laughs> so, what are you going to do when it needs dusting? Very carefully. Oh, no, no, just... let me just like. Oh, shit, I've just remembered. This actually happens. My dad had, I think it was like a record like case or something. Mm-hmm. And he's a big fan of status quo. Obviously, when you've got quo writing in Sharpie or whatever on this case, he's going to treasure it. Obviously, all this shit got like thrown into a box, having to clean it and whatnot. His missus actually got it out the box and cleaned it and cleaned the signature off. <gasps> oh. Now, obviously, she felt bad for it, but she didn't know. He forgave her, but you can't help but just sit there and giggle at that kind of stuff. You don't, you know, you only read about it. You never actually witness it, you know. Go on, Lucy. What about you? What have you been up to? You interrupted Hi. me mid mid story. Thank you very much. I did. I do apologise. Sorry, Christian. Continue. Oh no, you've asked Lucy. I'll go after. All right then. Fuck you then, Lucy. Go on. Go on. What were we gonna say? Been at college. That's the end of that topic. Go on. <laughs> Quite a few interesting things. I uh, mowed the lawn. Oh, I am so intrigued. Tell me more. Well, usually, I can't really use the lawnmower correctly, because once I got a uh, friction burn from it. Wait, what? Yeah, friction. I burned myself in the lawnmower. How? Friction. <laughs> Basically. Well, yeah, but how? I was pulling the cord to start it, because it's a diesel one. And my hand slipped, grabbed onto the bar, where the wire goes past, as I let go of the thing, so the wire slid across my hand. Oh, oh, yeah, fair enough then. <laughs> well, how about this? Like, can't you like, wear gloves or something while um, while you're mowing alone? My yeah. household is not that intelligent. Excellent. That's not a good enough excuse. We have every like... tool under the sun, apart from even gloves. Even multiple of some of them. Yes, even Mate, you, multiple you, of tools. You're yeah. talking to someone who got second degree burns and then two days later done some metal casting. So I get you yeah, when it comes to doing foolish things. Hmm. The thing is, I've just made a suggestion, and instead of going, do you know what, Steve, that's a good idea that I will get right to it, you've just gone, well, actually, we've never thought about that before, and we want to continue doing that. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. And then the the next day, I mowed the front lawn. It's a bit smaller. My album arrived. I was very giddy. People kept telling me to shut up on Xbox. Uh... Yeah, I remember you telling me. I believe this is technically the seventh time you told me about about the album. But go on, go on, continue. They had a little live acoustic session on YouTube and Facebook. Obviously sat and watched that at full volume. Very good. Uh, the meanings of the songs hit me a lot more deeply than other albums. It's got you right in the feels. <laughs> they showed me feels I didn't even have before. Uh, wow, that, that is actually pretty deep. You know what? I was going to uh, make a joke saying that, uh, fucking hell, these podcasts, you know, they talk about all the interesting topics, but then you come out with that deep stuff. Fucking Christ. Um, but go on, continue. Still love thinking, going through the album list, like three o'clock things and stuff, and a song's just called Joe, but I don't read it as Joe. I read it as Joe. Really deep voice, just Joe. Why? It just sounds better, just Joe. Um... So, hang on. So, Lucy, you said that you had been to college. Well, actually, got to ask. You don't go to college, you still do the fucking FaceTime thing, don't you? I, I go one, one, once Te- a day, Lucy does it. Technically, well. mine's not even even college, it's a training class thing. What is it that you're doing again? The mental health awareness class. Oh, that's right, yeah, because when I was like, oh yeah, we want to talk about mental health on this podcast, she went, wah, 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 I do that all day, wah, wah. Oh, I do? 
Yeah, yeah, but I would have liked your input on it. Just saying. Just saying. Well, don't, Stephen. Yes, Stephen. All right, fuck all right. you. All right, all right, calm down. Just gangs up on him. Actually, do you know what? I've just done a very stereotypical uh, Scouse comment there and you didn't even acknowledge it. All right, calm down, calm down. My mistake, you did acknowledge it, it just wasn't mm-hmm. funny. Speaking of which, like, turns out that my cat is definitely 100% Scouse because she's stealing things. <laughs> <laughs> we caught her with the car keys. And <laughs> she's going to yeah. the car. She's trying to yes, make a well, breakaway. Here's the thing so we caught her with the car keys, and maybe about an hour ago, my mum sent me a picture on WhatsApp. She's moving the litter around, like actually moving it around the kitchen. So I said it's only a matter of time before my mum just goes on saying that someone's nicked the car. Then the car drives into the driveway. Freya climbs out the car with cat litter in her mouth. She goes onto the counter and she starts cleaning her own litter. I think someone's well, maybe talking mum bullshit. Yeah, of course I'm talking bullshit. I just did it for humorous purposes. God damn it, you I thought I was going to get burned the other night. Yes, Lucy? Have you changed your vape? Have I changed my vape? I've changed the coil recently. Why? Just asking. Why does it sound differently? It sounds quieter. Mm-hmm. Hang on. That's shit. Do you know what? Quieter. Yeah, do you know what? It might be because um, yeah, the, um, the watts have turned the watts down. Yeah, I thought I was going to get burgled the other night. Yeah, I briefly heard you joking about that, like, did you get burgled or whatever? And I was like, what's that about? So, go well, on. One of my Just main fears, one of my main fears is someone breaking into the house. Right. Or anything just happening to the house. So my mum rushes upstairs, says, the next door neighbour's back, lights are on. They don't usually do that and they've gone to bed. Do you think it could be someone out there? I'm like, I fucking hope not. She said, well, I'll have a look through your room. I'm like, no, because then they'll know which room to target. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Sorry, go on. Turns out we didn't get burgled. Didn't seem like other neighbours got burgled, so we're all right. I like how you and I have two completely different approaches to that. Yours is like, oh, shit, we could get burgled. Panic. Whereas me, it's like, you want to fucking go, mate? Fucking go down with me baseball bat. The thing is, the most expensive thing is my 3D printer, and I'd love to see one scrawny little shit from my area try and carry that out door. I'm not even uh, joking here. The house that lives next to us, my mum heard like a loud smashing sound. So she looked out of her window and she just saw someone running off. And their car clearly had been smashed. Don't know what it was all about, but I fucking go out there with a freaking weapon, thinking that there's someone fucking loitering, don't I? So it's one of them, like, uh, like you've heard what I've gone on <laughs> when it's like talking to the uh, council or whatever, like how disrespectful they are. So it's like I fucking give them cheek because they're disrespectful. So why should I show them any respect? Yes, you know? I can just imagine you also going out there with like a fucking studied baseball bat and like little Mr. Old Rogers is walking back with his shopping. It's dark. You don't know who it is. Oh, you, you bastard! Just start beating the shit out. <laughs> One sec. Dooby dooby dooba dooby dooby dooba. Sorry about that, I have to mute my mic because my cat is meowing at the door like, Oi, fuck it, open up, I want to cuddle. Come here, Phoebe. Don't answer back, come here. Don't do it, Phoebe, it's a trap. Come here, Phoebe. Oh, oh you're going to run off, well. Frank. I want to cuddle, come here, come here. <laughs> you mount for attention, Steven, you're going to get attention. the best thing I've ever heard of you and your cat is your cat getting that bubble wrap. Oh, yeah, I know. The bastard's nicking my bubble wrap. All I hear is like, give us a second, just hear like these ba- this bit of banging, and like, the bastard's got me bubble wrap, and just hear him like climbing round the room after this cat. You know what? Remind me after we've uh, finished recording this. Remind me, I did actually record a little video of Freya stealing it, so uh, I'll send it to you so that when we're done recording. But yeah, I was going to say something, and what was it? I don't uh, know, I'm not a mind reader. Oh, we were talking about big we and all. Yeah, I won't lie. Like, don't get me wrong. Yes, I've got an axe. Yes, I've got a sword. But I'm not going to walk out with them, am I? It's one of them, like, when it comes to, well, my attitude in general, it's just like, there's no reason to be a dick. There's no reason to be disrespectful to someone for no reason. So if someone's going to be disrespecting me or someone I care about, then obviously I'm not going to take that lightly, am I? Oh, you've never so... met me. <laughs> well, let's face it, Christian. How many times have I called you out on your bullshit? No, no. Not enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll try and do better in the future. Damn yeah, right, you peasant. Peasants. Excuse me? Peasant. Oh, I thought you said that. Oh, oh, is that so? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Class divide, are we? Okay. I'll just sit here with me cat then. You're going to speak down on my cat? Hey. Still pissed off at hey. the teacher. 
Um, did you mention that before? I can't remember. Well, I mentioned it not on recording. The only thing I can remember is uh, Lucy going on saying that, oh yeah, my teacher's a liar. Yeah, my teacher's just a bull. Remind me why? It was doing this English thing. And we had to like, do like an exam question practice type thing. And I was there, struggling to read it, struggling to find quotation marks. But if I can't do something, I stress about it and not wanting to ask oh, for help. I remember, yeah. Go on, continue. So then, half an hour goes by, me stressing my head off. And I'm like, my mum comes in and says, you better ask her. And because my mum told me to, I did. So I put in chat, I said, I'm not understanding that. I can't find any quotation marks. Can I have some help? And she says, well, what have you been doing for the past half an hour then? And I'm like, well, sorry. So then I put in chat while I was trying to do this, and then she just totally just blank. Yeah, and as I said, yeah, I remember you mentioning that. I stand by what I said. She's not doing her job properly. You basically were struggling. You were trying to manage, and you admitted, no, I can't do this. I need help. Miss, I can't do this. And her response was that. No, she's not doing her job right. Yes, okay, I'm not a teacher. Whatever. But at the end of the day, she's supposed to teach her and encourage a student who's basically sat there going, look, I can't do this, I need help. They're supposed to encourage that behaviour. If you don't know something, say something. I'm just like, she as you know, she snaps at you like that. Now she can get to fuck. <laughs> do drugs, kids. Uh, can I stamp that? I will have to remove that. What? What do you mean, what? Don't tell, <laughs> don't tell kids to do drugs. Well, not even like cough medicine, like if they have a cough. Do prescription drugs, kids. For for all they know, oh, yeah. I could be a licensed practitioner. Me fucked them. We've got fucking tramadol and diazo. I'm in this house. <laughs> Do prescription drugs, kids. Okay. <laughs> now you know my attitude when it comes to drugs. If it's prescribed and you have to take it, then obviously you have to take it. There's no judgment there. When it comes to something that you shouldn't be taking, it's none of my business. So I won't comment. But if it becomes a problem where you start selling stuff to fund this habit. Or, I don't know, where you basically, it controls your life. That's when it becomes a problem. So you're telling me I've got to sell all my cube world because it's a habit? I'm sorry, what? Lucy knows what I'm on about. She has interests in me. No, but we were talking about drugs one minute and, pin, you and know, views on, on that. World. Sorry, what? And he moved on to cube world. Yeah, that's the thing I was trying to make then. It's just like, you just went from one topic to the other in just like a complete, like, change of subject. And now you're confused because we're confused. Well, no, Cube World is my drug. But not really, because when you and I first started talking about you funding this hobby, I made the comment that obviously it's not my business how much money you have or how much money your household earns. So obviously that's not going to be ever brought up. But the bottom line is you're able to fund that hobby and therefore you're not hating anyone doing it. You're not hating yourself doing it. So it doesn't matter what negative opinions people might have. You it brings you joy. I've had to go through. <laughs> no, but you have to admit though, you did get a buzz from doing like the bits and that. You have to admit. Right, I'm gonna have to cut that horrible fucking noise, whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> no, but you have to admit, um, you did get a buzz from you know doing bits, whether the, you were like selling stuff or buying it. Like, it's not necessarily a bad thing because you weren't breaking the bank. You weren't hurting anyone, you weren't hurting yourself. Oh, but some you digging you... into the savings. Because then now he's moaning at me that he can't afford other stuff. Right, okay, now it is becoming a problem. I did not know that. You need to rate it in. <laughs> no, seriously, I stick by what I said that if it's not a problem, then it's... Well, yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah, but if it's no, becoming a problem, you need to get it under control. I ain't broke. Yeah, but it is one of them. Like, if it's becoming a problem, the fact is you're able to recognise it's becoming a problem is obviously a good thing. But, dial it back a bit then, if it is going into savings. No, it's fine. That's not the best attitude to have now, is it? I'm not digging into my savings. Every time I spent from my savings, I replenished it the week after. So basically what you're saying is, the I don't want to know the figures, but are you saying that the income and the outcome is virtually the same? At the time, yes. At the time? Well, technically, eBay stopped me buying Cube World. Now I can buy other stuff. I just can't buy or bid on Cube World. Let's just say that. Why? <laughs> I've reached a limit on that type of item. Wow, I did not know that. <laughs> but again, I don't want to know figures. But you know, how I said that if the income is the same going out and coming in, is like now is it the income is more than the outcome? I'm just not spending as much. Well, so yeah, that's a yes then, because obviously. My personal opinion about it is if your income is greater than your outcome, 
then there's not a problem. If it's balanced, it's still not a problem. It's not ideal, but it's not a problem. It only becomes a problem when the outcome is higher than the income. And when it comes back to tying in the topics that we were talking about, you with the cubes, like it's a hobby, whatever, or even when it comes to a drug habit, again, drugs, whatever, none of my business. But if it's one of them where you've got a hobby, sorry, a hobby or a habit that, you know, you're starting to lose money on, then you shouldn't fucking do it. Well, again, that's just my opinion on the matter. It's like with you, like going back to what you were saying with the cubes and that, I literally can't judge you for spending however much on the uh, cubes when I will literally spend however much on builds and that. And then I get to a certain point where I'm just like, no, I can't finish this build. I'm going to have to scrap it. Like, what was it while I'm building now? I spent maybe about two weeks. I Like, it's been mentioned in previous um, podcasts how I build armor just because I can. And the last two weeks, I've been building the helmet to go with it. And the other day, I got to a point where it was like, I can't continue this. I've made it too small. And unfortunately, all the parts that I've used, I'm going to have to throw in the bin. But the thing is, I've learned something from it. I'm going to just have to take That's what literally all I can take from it. And I did enjoy making it. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. But well, gave it two days break. Started um, building another one. Because I can. And I enjoy it. Where's the problem? There isn't one. Simple as that. Mm. What? Is that your only input on that? No, I'm just doing that to be polite as I don't help. You fuck. Say that again, Tony? I said I heard all at least. Well, thank you. Just a shame you didn't comment. Mm-hmm. Pepsi Max has the nickname Crack Cocaine in our I'm sorry, I might have shit in my ears. What the fuck did you just say? Pepsi Max has the nickname Crack Cocaine in our Oh, in your... Oh, okay, fair enough then. Well, to be fair, I've s- I saw that video you sent me a while mm-hmm. back where you had, look at my Pepsi stash or whatever, and how many cans was it? About 30 or just stacked on top of each other? 30? There was 98. 98? <laughs> that was my month's worth of supply of Pepsi. 98 cans. And yeah, my parents yeah. confiscated it. Hang on a minute. Before, as we get into the conversation as to why you confiscated it, I would just like to say, you said 98 and that's a month's supply, but let's yeah. face it, that's more like a fortnight. Shit, I'm You're so like rich. You're like me with... You're like me with the iron brew. Like, you will go through <laughs> an awful lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. So go on then, why did they confiscate it? Because I was drinking too much of it. Well, based oh, on the previous shit. topic, yes, that is true. And what's up, Christian? Um, I've spent, like, £15 in, like, two minutes. Wait, you... So we've literally talked about spending less, and now during the podcast you've just spent 15 quid On what? <laughs> Not Cube World. Uh, I, uh, uh, for my AJR albums, I've got The Click, Neo Theatre, and OK Orchestra. I have no idea what that is. Albums. It's, it's the album, mm. the name got of the album. Okay. I've now just ordered The Click Deluxe Edition. You do know literally it's only going to have one song different. Three, actually. No. Oh, oh, I'm spoiling you. Wow, that's a full 12 minutes of new content. That you'll have already played on YouTube. Shut up. Do you know what, Christian? I'm not saying I would, but because of how creative I am, if you took screenshots of how the album cover is meant to look, and you like had a good quality picture of the signatures, and you gave me enough time to download the songs, hmm. I could probably do you yeah, a good replica, and you probably wouldn't notice the difference. I'm not saying I would, because I can't be fucked, <laughs> but I could. I really want that CD, but I've only seen one for £65. Pack it in, Christian. Dial it back with the spender. I can't buy it anyway. The only way, the only per- place I've found it is eBay for 65 quid. Yeah, well, count your blessings. You haven't got 65 quid. If anybody finds Living Room by AJR and they want to sell it, contact me. <laughs> what? So if this podcast gets popular and fans are just like, I'll buy it! Basically, no, but, yes. But I won't lie. Even though I sound very preachy about this, with the spending less, I've actually had the same conversations with my dad. Like, mm. when it comes to him buying, like, um, stuff for his, same. Um, because obviously I've mentioned that he's in a band, so he's buying sound equipment, he's buying guitar c- guitar parts, um, so, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, no, rein it in. And I was just like, look at this in my basket, look at that in my basket. And I was like, yeah, it shouldn't fucking be there. On that card. <laughs> New um, what was that, Lucy? This is my neck hurt. Why does your neck hurt? From painting. Hang on. So, 
that that reminds me. So yeah, so it was you who done it. When I went to the group chat, I saw the painting of the. The dinosaur. The, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. So have you done a few more of them? No, there's like this this dinosaur. Um, I've just basically done another coat of all of the colours. Oh um, right, I get you. Yeah. On it, just to make it look a bit more vivid. Well, from the screenshot, that was screenshot. From the picture that you took, that's on um, the group chat. You've done a good job of it. I think so, but everybody keeps telling me I have to. Well, tell you what, do you want me to be a bit more critical? Would that make you feel better? Let's yeah. get critical. Critical. Now, this is what I'd do. And I'm not saying that you should. I'm, I'm going to outline it, if that's going to be any. No, well, yeah, outlining it would be a good idea. Um, but if you want me to be a bit more critical, what I would do is an additional shade of green on the main body. Like, you know, where you've got the darker green round some of the lines to provide shadow. Mm. But to say how it is, though... It is the for a you... three-year-old, though. Say that again? It is for a three-year-old, though. Yeah, if it's for, if it's for a kid, they're going to love it either way. But to say how it is, like, from that picture that, you, that I'm looking at, if you've all you've done since then is you put another layer of paint on it, and that's all it needs because obviously from looking at this picture you can see the brush strokes put another layer of paint on it is going to hide that mm, so putting a black outline around it say that again <laughs> but it doesn't i'm using very cheap paint so you can oh. see all the brush strokes okay okay fair enough so it's not going to do that but do you know what i obviously it's been a while since i've been painted would it because obviously it's acrylic paint you're using isn't it mm-hmm so acrylic is water-based isn't it uh yes so, would it be a smart or a dumb idea if you got a wet brush as it was drying and you just smoothed it over? So, literally, once I put it on, it dries over in like five seconds. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> well, regardless, though, for what you've done, I like it. Thank Black you. outlines and all that, like making it a bit more bold so that you can see them better. That oh, might take a oh, bit of time, baby, but baby, I think baby. that's all it needs, really. Oh, 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 yeah, you've done a good job. Thank you, Stephen. There is one thing that I do have to comment oh, about. Um, one thing. No, no, it's slightly changing the topic a bit. I remember Lucy showed me a drawing that she'd done a while ago, like in, in all the stuff. In fact, if I load up our, our chat on Facebook, uh, there she is. Now, it'll, it'll take me a sec. I mean, we barely talk as it is, but there we go. Yeah, I found them. Majority of the conversations happen on here on group chat, so. Exactly, yeah, and, and let's face it, I barely go on the group chat as it is. So I've just scrolled back, fucking hell, it was around about New Year's, where you show me the skull with the roses, um, well, the rose and the triangle, and the rose and the... Yeah, you like doing roses, don't you? The roses <laughs> and the pocket watch. Because obviously, the way you've coloured in the roses on all of them, you've clearly got great talents. I am curious to see if you could do the same shading with paints. This is the first time that I've really used paint. I'll be honest with you, I, ga I guessed as much because there was a lack of shading, because that's the reason why I made comments about it. Because as I'm just pointing out here, you usually do shading. Yeah. Um, so this, this, sorry to interrupt, but if this is your first attempt, you know, that, that dinosaur being your first attempt, it's a fucking brilliant one. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. You've done a good job. Thank you. Uh, I normally use acrylic paint pens, which is more control over, obviously. Mm. But they're very expensive. Mm. And it's actual paint. Yeah, I know, I know what it's like. Uh, I did find out, like, and Christian, you know, if, when it comes to you painting, like, 3D models, mm. paint pens, defo go for paint pens, because, uh, don't get me wrong, I'd, I'd stand by using um, using spray paints, because once you get the hang of it, you can do all kinds of detail and whatnot. Mm. But if there's, like, a small model that you printed out and you've got to do the finest details instead of uh, getting a, um, a brush, if you just get a paint pen, and try and colour it in, you know, you can hide your mistakes then. Because one method, and Lucy, you might have done this, but one method that I had, we used that, um, that, that dinosaur as an example. So if I wanted to paint the eyes black and white, as the way you've done it, and I, I end up getting the whites, like, smudged so it's on the body, I'll get me you little thick finger. Say up. that again? You can just cover it up. Exactly, yeah. I, like, what I was going to say is I get me little finger and I just, like, like scoop yeah, up some it. yeah yeah and then obviously you got a bit of a white patch then and then you just go over it then just let it dry and go over it so it's, it's better to have to go back on the bigger parts of a drawing than happen to go back on the smaller parts 
Yeah. So. You know what? Right. I've actually um, been thinking about getting back into painting, but I know I've you know I've proven time and time again that I'm very patient. But believe it or not, I don't have that much patience when it comes to going back to painting. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand that. I think it's because um, I've got this problem now, Lucy. And you're very creative, so you might be able to relate to this. Christian, I don't know about yourself. I tend to set the bar too high for myself. Too high. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, if I did, for example, a break from the armor, what I could do is if I found, like, a very basic drawing of a tree and, like, you know, forest theme or whatever, print it out, so I would, and then spray paint that black, then have the backgrounds, I could end up painting it. Or I could just have lights behind it. So I was toying with ideas like that because um, I don't think I've shown you. But in my kitchen, my mum drew this massive tree on the wall. So I was looking at that and I was getting inspiration ideas. And I was thinking, could I do something like that with the printer? Like experiment with circuits or could I paint or something? And I thought to myself, if I do that, great. But I'm setting the bar too fucking high, too like, high. with all these yeah. different ideas. I should just like go for something more basic. Like, as I said, if I want to experiment with, like, going back into painting or with circuits, why don't I just do a very basic circuit to start me off? Yeah. But then again, I suppose I could always do what I did last time and half arse it. What was it? Have you seen on printed props the arc reactor half that I've done? Yes. Yeah. That was made out of cheap Christmas lights that I got from Poundlands, and I took apart an old you charge wire. Poundland. Downlands. Oh yeah. How much do you buy stuff in there for again? <laughs> About three fifty. <laughs> no, but it's one of them like cheap Poundland lights and an old charred wire. Well, you wouldn't think it if you looked at it though. No. So I could just do that again. I mean, it's an easier job. So again, not setting the bar high, you know, trying to reduce it, you know, giving myself an easier task. Because I was thinking recently, just like, because uh, pack it in you, Saki. Um, yeah, I was thinking recently because obviously with, now that we're talking about creativity and that's like, it's uh, the best way I can put it, looking at the way things were to the way things are now. Like, Lucy, how did you start getting into creativity? I just kind of did it. Yeah, but you'd notice, like, we mentioned this briefly uh, with the others, and I was asking Cara, and we mentioned about necessary steps that need to be taken. Like, for her and myself, they were different. Like, I suppose what I'm getting at is, like, when you're a kid, creativity flows. You do drawings, whether they're good or the bad, you just do it. And then, somewhere down the line, you get better or you try other things creativity, uh, creatively. Yeah. The way I developed, it's like... The point I'm getting at is, there was a time where I wanted to build Master Chief's power, ar power armor. I wanted to build Master Chief's um, armor. I think it was the Halo 3 version. And I googled how to make it, and I was expecting to make it out of cardboard and duct tape and the like. And I saw this really detailed version. I was like, I have to make this. I just have to. Yeah. And then I started watching the video, and it was about maybe 18 minutes long. And it was part one, mind you. And I got about five minutes in, and then the woman said, this could take about a year to make. And that was it. I just thought, fuck this. And I clicked across. I was just off the video. But then now, I'll just look at that and think, eh, no problem, I could do it in half the time. In fact, yeah. I technically have, you know? So no, go I on, Lucy, did you experience anything like that? Not really. Like, literally, obviously, obviously, everybody thought that I was really creative when I was younger and stuff, you know? <laughs> just general, oh, your drawings are really good and stuff. And, and I think that just kind of went on. Oh, fair enough then. Well, thanks for that. I'm going to have to cut out that long pause, but yeah. I know. I know. Uh, Christian. Hmm. Why have you tagged me in your mum's uh, post? Did you read what, the, what it was that was in the post? That reminds me Christian tagged me in something well, as well. Says, probably the same thing. It says, here's to a great night, and she's got a faulty... Did you read me comment? It just says, Lucy, what else? Meaning, what else Fuck would they you. have? What? I don't get what's happened here. I think you've got a message I didn't mean to put. <laughs> <laughs> I was meaning well, that. What right. else would they have? Okay, I'm still lost. I'm stuck in hot tub. Right, so what What Christian type of thing? The kind of Pepsi that's on the fucking. Oh, was that you? Right, Christian so. Christian just explained it to me. 
Say that again. Oh, basically, Chag Jin, like, what else? I Meaning, what else would they have? I don't know. That's why I asked him. It's a rhetorical question. What else Social would alcohol would they drink? Yeah. Yeah, and I said, fuck you. Are you talking about the fucking can of Pepsi on the windowsill? And you said, no. Something? There's a glass of brandy there. What else? Wine. Well, they already drank that. That's why they went on to brandy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. They drank a bunch of wine and they're like, ah, oh, fuck, we're out of wine. Brandy! <laughs> well, no, they have, like, a bottle of wine between and then later on in the after they have a civilised brandy. Well, not a civilised brandy. They have, like, a bottle of brandy. They drink stuff okay. by the bottles, my parents. No, but it's one of them. It's like, based on what you've told me before, I'm inclined to believe that this bottle that you speak of is the size of a barrel. Well, no, it's three litres. My It's three litres? It's not really three litres. It's but yeah, seventy CL bottle. Oh, fair enough then. But yeah, so going to what I was saying before, like Christian tagged me in something, and I, I, I won't lie, I'm actually quite intrigued by this. Like you, you Christian, you've done, you tagged me in a few of these. Where I think hmm. the printer is called CR thirty. Is that mm-hmm. it? Yeah. So basically, someone looked at a three D printer, then turned to a treadmill and thought, Genius. Hey, <laughs> what if, right? What if? Yeah. Like, that's basically what it is. It's a treadmill, but it's a 3D printer. So you can print out long shit. I mean, that is impressive. Like, I don't see how it works, like, but... Tell you what, Christian, if you can, if you can find a video of someone printing with it, then I'll definitely give it a watch. Well, it's just amazing, like, like that one I sent you, for the people at home, there's, like, this massive... All I could describe it as a massive anime-type sword, like the ridiculous ones that wouldn't even be practical. And they've managed, instead of printing it in increments and sticking it together, they've managed to, due to the printer being a treadmill, it prints and moves it along, so they could print the actual full-length blade. Yeah, so another way of wording it is, you've got my printer, where you've got a printing space that is... Well, yeah, of course, but actually, what's your printing space? It's like uh, 40 centimetres squared, isn't it? Oh, it's 450 by 450 by 470. So let's just round it off and say it's a, it's a, it's a little <laughs> bit huge. over. It's a, it's a little bit over 45 centimetres squared, whereas mine is only 15 centimetres squared. So essentially, you've got this cube space where the printer does its printing. Mm. And as Christian pointed out, People like myself, people like him, if you want to print something big, you have to print it in small chunks and then glue it together. But what this printer does is the the print bed is a treadmill and it somehow basically moves the print along. So it's, it's, it can it's print... not that like it can do somewhat decent width and obviously unlimited length if you think about it. But it doesn't have yeah. much height. Yeah, true, but it's like Especially when it comes to using PLA plastic, mm. it's quite actually tell like is the is it ABS I'm thinking of? Yes, mine mine could do ABS and PLA. Yeah, so ABS I believe is more robust, but it's yes. more prone to warping, whereas uh, PLA still has that issue. So for those that don't know, warping is if you've got this I don't know. Let's just say you try and print an out a ten centimeter by ten centimeter square the corners will start to bend upwards. Mm. So, if it, if it bends with only doing a square that size, then how the hell are you going to be able to print something that is ten times the size without it warping? That's why I believe that it wouldn't work, but clearly from this screenshot, that screenshot, clearly from this picture that I'm looking at, it clearly works, and I just don't see how. I just don't. It's like, obviously it works, and that's why I want to see a video of it. Mm. But does it work, or are they just Photoshop? Again, another reason why I want to see um, why I want to see a picture because if I look closely at it, there's no joints, so clearly it's a solid print. But the way it works as well, you have to like Christian does this, and I do it. You put glue on the print bed to prevent it from warping. Sometimes mm. it doesn't help. Sometimes it does. Yeah. So with this print obviously not being stuck to the print bed because it moves off the print bed with it being a fucking treadmill, again, it's going to be more prone to warping. So, it just... It's illogical! It makes no sense to me. It works, but it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it works, but I don't... I physically... I, I can't envision how it works. And it, I, this is so autistic of me, I know. But 
If there's something I don't understand, I need to understand it. <laughs> Your autism is showing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Stephen, calm down. Your autism showing. Yeah, it might kind of be just whilst doing this recording, watching AJ Art live on Instagram. Sorry, say that again? Might be watching AJ Art live on Instagram. Oh, fair enough then. And I'm trying to outline a dinosaur. You know, I've had an idea. For my birthday, my parents said they'll happily spend £100 on things that I'd, I'd want. And there's always been this metal poster thing called Display, which I've always wanted. But looking at it now, I'd rather have a song lyric, like lyrics, on a poster on the wall. Than... Now, this is going to sound, like, really cheap. And I will admit, I have done this. Mm. What's stopping you from... Sell. Say that again? I said you can make me sell. Oh, that's what you were going to say. Well, what I was going to say is, like, basically print it off. Like, you go somewhere that you have, like, what is it? Like, A2, is it? Maybe? Uh, A3? Where you can print out the uh, picture. Like, you go into Google, you can do whatever, and, yeah, you just print it. Yes, it's the half, it's, you know, it's, it's the cheap-ass way of doing it, but my logic is, if you can spend, say, 50 quid on something, or you can spend maybe a couple of quid on it. And, and it's virtually the same thing in every single way other than the fact that it's not authentic. Then is it really worth spending like 40 quid more for something? Maybe even like, we're talking if you did the cheap ass way, you know, we're talking about maybe, what, two, two quids and your time for like getting it all sources. Is it really worth paying that extra bit of money just because of a tiny little detail that you're not really going to notice? Mm -hmm. I know. I will admit, I'm quite frugal. It's like even when it comes to the phones and that. Like, you have people who would spend four figures on a new iPhone, whereas me, I'll buy a cheap, um, just a cheap smartphone. Like, you take the piss out of me because my phone's a Motorola. But I think my phone only cost me maybe about, what? Maybe 150 rounds about that range. But then you're talking an iPhone. We're talking minimum of a grand. What is the point? Ooh, it's got an extra camera. Hmm? Say that again. So you're taking the piss out of iPhones? Yes, I am taking the piss out of iPhones. I'm not a fan of iPhones. <laughs> well, now that your crying session is over, to say how it is, if someone wants an iPhone, that is their choice. But as far as I'm concerned, you're just paying for something. You're just spending more money than you should be. Like, yes, I will admit I'm frugal with money, but it's like when you have, ooh, new TV, two grand, but it's been reduced to 1,500. You are saving 500 quid. No, you're not saving 500 quid. You're still spending 1,500. I just don't like iPhones because my mum had a bad experience with her iPad and she can't sign in. Went to the Apple store, they couldn't do anything and she just never couldn't get back into it, so it's just sat under the bed in storage. Couldn't give it to and then my dad has problems with it as well. No, my granddad has problems with his stuff, and he's recently switched to an iPhone, which we really didn't want him to, because I'm used to like sorting out his every other type of phone that I had. I just have no clue with iPhones. They're just too complicated, and it's all one. If one thing messes but, up, that one account and all devices will mess up. Not true. But to be fair, like when it, I wouldn't say that that complex. Like, don't get me wrong. When I first got a smartphone, I was like a caveman. It was like, what's this? If you say whiskey, it will take a picture. Holy shit! You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm not good when it comes to, you know, fancy fucking gadgets and whatnot. But you got my brother, he was really into the Apple products. Now, again, as I said before, each to their own. But I still stand my ground where it's like... it's. I think what also reinforces this opinion of mine is it's been proven that the Apple products have been designed to break after so long and people still buy it. Mm. It's like, what was it? People take the piss how every version, like the next version is like the last version, but they remove something and they sell it separately. And I'm not being funny, but it's like Apple are laughing in the faces of people because it's like, we know you're still going to buy it. We're going to just do it in ways that are going to get more money out of you. And people are like, okay, here's me money. It's like, what was it, the latest one? Um, what was it, like, when you get a phone, they provide a charger with it. But Apple have all of a sudden started to saying, no, we ain't doing that anymore because of the environment. Fuck off. 
You use it as an excuse. You just sell them the fucking charges separately so you can get more money out of it. You've been doing it for however long your fucking business has been going. I'm not falling for it, but apparently millions of people are falling for it. Hmm. The charger literally costs eight quid. It's still more money you shouldn't have to be spending. Or if you really want to, you can just go to the store and get one for quid. You know what, you're not wrong there. I mean, what was it, like, uh, Home and Bargain Round Us, uh, you can get this, they sell this charger where it's like a multi-charger thing, where uh -huh. I think it's only eight quids, where okay. one's like, uh, it charges, say, one device, like but then you Samsung, put this... and then you do the other one, and it does iPhone, and then you do another one, and it does, yeah. like, the phone. Yeah, so basically like that. So, okay, yeah, fair enough. But if you've spent a grand on a phone, and you're expected to spend a little bit more. <laughs> I suppose I'm starting to sound like, what was it when you order something online? Ooh, this is for a tenner, why not? Ooh, this is for eight quid. Mm, two pound posters and packaging, no thank you. Yeah, that's me that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I will admit, I'm just very fr frugal. It's like, I don't see the point in spending money if you don't have to. No, definitely not. I mean, that's basic. Times are hard, I'm especially with fucking lockdown. I'm still paying off my phone. My mum's still paying mine. Um, actually, no, I best not ask that because I don't want to know figures, especially when we're recording. It, um, it, I can tell you it wasn't expensive, but it, it, with at work, the, the, the financial stability. It was hmm. Well, it's like, um, especially with this lockdown, I know that uh, more, like some people more than others, but let's face it, this lockdown's like making things really difficult for a lot of people where especially when it comes to money they are struggling so you do have some people who i won't name and i think we all know people like this where they'll sit there and they'll complain that they are struggling with money but then they've got to have the latest gadgets oh yeah and it yeah it's like whereas they are it's their money they are entitled to do what they want I can't help but sit there and say, you are making a bad, you are in a bad situation and you are choosing to make it worse on yourself. Worse. Yeah. I don't know, it's just, yeah, I suppose, yes, it is just my opinion. And there could even be people listening and say, you don't know what you're fucking talking about. And maybe I don't, maybe I don't. Because at the end of the day, this is my opinion and people are entitled to disagree with me on that. Everybody has an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's entitled to an opinion, even if you choose That's to disagree cool. with me. You have those who agree with me and you have those who are wrong. Well, yeah, you've just said that you don't like iPhones. I didn't tell you. Oh my god, you just said you don't like my favorite product. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's actually it your favorite product. Mm -hmm. So go on. I am curious though. What, what, it, what is, is it your that favorite you like? product? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pepsi's did phones. <laughs> no, but seriously, Lucy, if it's your favorite product, I am curious as to why. Just to to me, it's, it's been something that I've grown up around. So you know. So it's, it's basically it's, a comfort it's, thing. It is, it, like for you, it'd be hard to go to an iPhone, I think, from Samsung or whatever the fuck. Just call it a brick. Just call it a brick with a screen. That's you know. There you go. There we go. Then brick with the screen. You, you want screens it, back then? You'd find it hard to go from that to this, and I'd find it hard to go from this to a Samsung. So it is a comfort thing then. Okay, I can understand that. I am a, a Google Pixel proud owner. I even have the Apple headphones. That's sad. Sorry to interrupt you. Christian, what was hmm. that? I'm a proud Google Pixel owner. Got the Google Pixel 3. Fuck, I might as well say 3, it. I believe. What is that? It's a phone by Google. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know hmm. Google did phones. Best phone I've had. And what's so great about that phone? It turn the lights off on and off from the phone. Can't you get an app for that for any phone, though? Probably, but this one's got it built in. Well, yeah, I don't because know why, it's just been the easiest, more, most laid out, easiest to use, less complex phone I've had. It's like, when it comes to comfort and all that, because it's like slightly changing the subject. Technology is to make your life easier. And whereas you have many examples where it does make your life easier, I mean, when we're talking about phones, you know, being able to communicate with people who are literally, you know, on the other fucking side of the planet for one, you know, obviously it does help, but you can't deny sometimes when it's designed to help, it just makes the situation worse. Yeah. Like, <sighs> use an example like the Xbox One, 
with how often they change the layout. I would assume to make it easier to access, but then, okay, I need to go into the settings to find whatever. So you go into the settings and you can't find it. Since they update the actual menus more often than the fucking guides on the internet, the best you can find is like a version, like two versions, like a guide for like two versions back. So you can't mm. fucking find shit. And then mm. you've got the help option, which doesn't fucking help. So, yeah. But you know what? Again, going back to the phones though, it's like at least, again, if it was like looking for settings, I've just got to type in settings. Hey ho, it's there. But yeah. It's designed to make things easier, but, you know, there are times where it just doesn't. It's like with the, um, I think I have mentioned this to you, and for those listening, a bit of advice. If you play on the Xbox and you're looking for a new game to play, just as a warning, for some fucking reason, the develop well, Microsoft have uh, done this new policy if a game developer doesn't want the viewers access to the ratings, then they can opt out to have the ratings on show. The reason why this is a problem is the ratings are to allow other users to see if the game is worth buying or what have you. So, if you're looking for a new game, like I've had it where I've looked at a game, the reviews have been set all positive, so I've been like, okay, I'll buy it. Or you've had it where the reviews are bad, so I don't buy it. It's as simple as that. But then I've act, I've actually had it recently. I say recently, a few months back now. I, I saw a game, Mad Tycoon uh, Tower or something. And it cost 25 quids. And because I do like the odd tycoon game, a nice chilled out game to play. I thought, this looks like my kind of game. I'll give it a go. After an hour, the game broke. So I started all over again. After an hour, the game broke again. I even done tests to figure out if I could trigger it and I got in contact with Microsoft stating to them this game is broken now quick side notes ages back I got Minecraft to play yeah, with me okay. mate shorty hang on no like obviously as you know I've played Minecraft with both years but way before I met you I got Minecraft to play with shorty and mm-hmm. for some reason even though I bought the game it wouldn't let me join their game so I complained to Microsoft and I said, look, I want a refund. And I was waiting for them to say no, so I could flag them with the, well, it's false advertisement. It's saying it's multiplayer and I can't play it with my friends. But it didn't even come to that. Immediately they was like, okay, no problem, here's your money back. There was no argument whatsoever. <laughs> so why is it that that had no issue? But then all of a sudden you can't get in contact with an actual person. It's all done via just leaving a message and hoping for the best. How it works was you put in the, um, you click on the option for, um, you know, wanting a refund for whatever, and you can't issue a refund if you bought it two weeks prior. So the fact I only bought it three hours prior, and I said, look, this game is broken, you can't play it, it's unplayable, I want a refund. I've even tried doing some tests, there's no, just there's no way around this bug, it is unplayable, I would like my money back. And two days later, they didn't even give me a reason why they just declined it. And then they had the fucking nerve to send me an email stating that, would you like to rate our services? So of course, one star. And it was like, we are sorry to hear that. Why? And it was like, well, because you haven't given me a fucking reason. And I had a good reason as to why I want the refunds. And then when I done that, I got another reply stating that you can't get refunds for games. I'm sorry, but you're chatting shit. One, why is it an option? And two, as I've just stated, I got a refund for Minecraft. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, later on I bought Minecraft again. But the thing is, these systems are in place to make things easier, but clearly they fucking don't. So as far as I'm concerned, they fucking robbed me at 25 quid. I've actually gone back on the game recently to test it. It's still fucking buggy. But for some reason, the developer's like, oh, we want to filter out all the negative, you know, all the trolls or whatever. I'm just like, look, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to deal with that because those reviews are there for a fucking reason to prevent shit like what I've gone through. Very pain in the ass. That was your cue to also comment on the topic. Sorry, I zoned out about half an hour ago. Yeah, I fucking clicked on, prick. You will will ramble on a little. Yeah, I know, I do that. So go on. I was listening, I was just doing comments because I'm outlining that as well. Oh, so how's that going then? Uh, well, you'll see it in a minute. Oh, alright, okay. So what are you doing right now then, Christian? 
I am trying to find the album. It's a little bit cheaper. Just saying, we're in at an hour. There is an interesting. We are an hour now. We are 59 minutes and 20 seconds. 59 minutes. Well, I'll tell you what then. Um, yeah. Call it quick then. Wow, so defeatist. Well, we can keep going, but we'll have to break it up into uh, more parts. That is true. I mean, I suppose what we could do, if it goes on for two hours, break it up into two episodes. Nah, I won't do here. Farewell, folks. <laughs> Who's the defeatist now? That's all, folks. And thank you for listening. Hopefully we won't have as many technical issues in the future. And Stephen might even edit these episodes on time. Hey Stephen put the hammer down and get back to work you lazy so and so. Anyway farewell and we'll see you next time.